dear friends now we can start our dhamma sermon we are in dhamma pada stanza number 158 atta vag attana meva patamang pati rupe niveshaye atanya manusa seya nikilisseya panditu let one first establish in what is proper and then instruct others such a wise man will not be defiled this stanza is given another advice for our life there was a monk during the buddha's time name was upananda he was a famous as a very good dhamma preacher he can explain dhamma very clearly so people were rushing when he was giving dhamma to listen to him they flocking together all the time wherever venerable upananda is giving dhamma talk people like to go there to listen to him because his explanation now very clean and clear even the deep dhamma matters he can explain very well but he had kind of uh, weaknesses many uh, i mean particularly he liked to gather things as a dhamma preacher when he was giving dhamma talks people liked to offer things for him then he liked to collect all these offerings somehow in one particular year he got invitation from different temples to observe vasana retreat in their temples he accepted all the invitation and they, he went to the place and one place he kept his pair of shoes and then he left from that place and then he went to another place he kept there his cane he went to another place he kept there his uh water cleaning cloth water cleaning cloth he kept there and he went to the final place he is observed there and he stayed there and during three month of period he went to all these places and he gave dhamma talks after the dhamma sermon when people ready to offer things he ready to collect all these things and he carried everything with him when he done his uh, vasana rani uh, retreats he started to go back to his regular place on the way somehow he stopped a place to rest in that temple there were two monks who had some kind of uh, goods from their devotees these two month have a trouble to share equally these gifts given by the people so this monk was a re- senior monk they those young monks asked from the senior monks please help us to share equally these gifts and then venerable upananda said okay this particular things for me then other all these things you i can help you to share equally he did that and that particular things he took and he took away to his place then those monks 
who were upset with venerable upananda because of that incidents went to the buddha and complained to the buddha then using this opportunity the buddha advised to them this is my advice for you all what is my advice is patirupe nivese attanam eva patama attanam eva patama let one first establish oneself in what is proper you establish first what is in proper you develop yourself those qualities don't think about others qualities first think about your qualities attanam eva patama patirupe nivese then you can instruct others because you have that qualities yourself experiencing these qualities you can advise to others to gain that qualities develop that qualities and such a wise man if you have that quality as a wise man you never get any blame from any others na kili se ye pandito dapo i would like to say that kind of person is the wise person so in this particular stanza these words are very important patirupe nivese patirupe nivese establish establish wholesomeness yourself establish wholesomeness yourself what kind of quality that you should develop as a person who is going to advise others what kind of qualities you should have as you know according to the buddha's explanation there are four qualities as a leader you should have what are those chand uh, ves bhaya moha you not supposed to have these uh, unhumanistic things with you chand dvesh bhaya moha these are streams extremes are not good what are chand you like if you are keep in something as oh i like it then you like to protect it telling lies and sometimes harm into others that's the nature if you like something then you like to keep that things with you to protect it benefits for yourself according to your wishes you can do any kind of you ready to do any kind of harmful things likewise lying hurting uh, all these things will be there because you like it therefore buddha said you not supposed to be extreme person with like chanda desire desire is there chanda dvesha anger anger also if you are if you are an angry person you always try to do harmful things to others therefore you ready to use your power to do some harmful things others if you want to become a leader to guide others help others lead others second things that you should not have anger you should not have anger because anger is very harmful and dangerous not for you for others even for others anger chanda do is by fear the next one is fear if you are a fearful person you like to protect yourself so to protect yourself you ready to do whatever harmful things you don't care others why you are living with fear 
Therefore, you are always thinking of your safety. Who has this? That person disqualified as a leader. That person not should be a leader to lead anyone in this society. This is advice from the advice of the Buddha. Next one. Chanda dvesa bhaya moha. Moha mean ignorance. If you have ignorance, you're not supposed to be a leader. Ignorance means in here, not the enlightenment, but at least you should be in the path of enlightenment, path to enlightenment, path to enlightenment. You should be able to see what is what is wholesome, what is unwholesome, what kind of behavior is the behavior that we should develop as wholesomeness, as wholesome path. You should have to have at least some degrees of knowledge and ideas, thoughts about this. If you don't have that qualities, you can be a leader. You can lead this society. So this is the meaning of pati rupe nivesya. You should have these qualities. You are not biased because of your greed. You are not biased because of your fear. You are not biased because of your anger. You are not biased because of your ignorance. Being the middle person then you can guide the society, guide others. You can lead others because now you have quality. Now you can see what kind of personality the Buddha is talking in here. What kind of personality is there? Such a great personality is here. Great personality. I think according to the explanation of the Buddha, this kind of person is the person who should be the leader. But, you know, when Venerable Ananda was questioning from the Buddha, Venerable Sir, after your death, who's going to be leader of this sasana? What, what the Buddha said? The Buddha said, after my death, Dhamma would be the leader of this sasana. What does it mean? Buddha, perhaps Buddha might can appoint a venerable Mahakashyapa. Actually, he was the, he became a leader after the Buddha's death. But Buddha did not mention that. Why? If Buddha made that decision at that moment, even today we are trying to find out some leaders. We are, we are we ready to depend in depend on leaders, but Buddha gave us a wonderful lesson. No. System is the system should be the leader. Dhamma is the system, the teachings. Guidance are there, all the guidance are there. Vinaya, rules, Dhamma, the teachings of the Buddha, suttas, everything is there. Therefore, the Buddha advised to Venerable Ananda, after me, you can use Dhamma as a leader. You follow the Dhamma. If there is something that you can recognize, use the Dhamma to recognize it, whether it is proper or uh, 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 improper. You cannot see that through the Dhamma. And then I think this might be the one and only organization which we don't have a physical leader. Dhamma is the leader. But traditionally, we know who knows the Dhamma, who, who practiced the Vinaya, automatically he will become a leader to this sasana. It's happening. But Buddha mentioned Dhamma Vinaya should be leader after my death. It means who knows Dhamma, who knows Vinaya, who practiced Dhamma, who apply Vinaya, 
that person would be leader in my sasana it's happening no one can appoint anyone in this sasana as a leader but without putting any effort that kind of person would be our leader it's happening around the world why people are respecting some particular monks because of his dhamma knowledge dhamma experience and also we can see whether he is living according to dhamma or not then we have confidence of that monk then we ready to flock under his guidance it's happening it is very common general things in the world so in this particular stanza the buddha is uh, giving us how we should lead the society lead this society we should be qualified with qualities if you don't have qualities if you are not a skillful person then you're not supposed to lead the society but unfortunately you can see what is happening around the world unqualified people are leading that's why we have so many troubles when unqualified people are there they don't know what to do what is the way that we should uh, lead they don't know we also become blind and then we ready to follow them we don't the leader does not know where we should go the followers also does not know where we should are uh, we are where we are going but it's very clear the buddha's explanation through the buddha's explanation we can see attanameva patamang pati rupe nivese you should establish qualities yourself before lead others you should establish your qualities and then you can lead the society this is that advice given by the buddha anya anusaseya to advise others you should look at yourself why you want to look at yourself whether you have that qualities whether you are experienced in that qualities or not if you don't experience that qualities how you can say something about that qualities you don't know anything about that then if you don't know anything about that when you try to give some advice to others you both are in trouble you both are struggling you don't know real reality and you are trying to show others reality how it's come it's not happening therefore buddha said uh, first establish in proper qualities and you can see what is proper and establish yourself and then you can so you can lead others when you are in this way na kiliseya pandito na kiliseya no one ready to go against you no one blame you why everybody have confidence of you because you are living with that qualities you are behavior you your behavior is connecting with the qualities through your behavior we can see those qualities so then everybody ready to respect listen to you respect in mean listen to you everybody ready to follow that advice otherwise if you don't have confidence of the person who is leading you who is guiding you then you ready to listen from one year then it will go away from other one you don't keep anything because you don't have confidence of that person buddha was such a person such a leader in this world what buddha delivered as a dhamma guidance to the others he had been experience in everything 
once the buddha said himself whatever the things told by the buddha everything told by the buddha with his experience that's why there's a particular name that buddha used to for, for buddha tathagata 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 means buddha experience himself everything and then he told he advised others to apply that so as a buddhist follower we should use this guidance we should use this guidance this is the way how the buddha became a uh, uh, ideal to the human world the buddha is a uh, ideal he is example for the whole human world therefore even we as everybody as we have kind of leadership as you know you are living in lay life you have some leadership as a mother as a father you have some kind of leadership not only that when your parents are aging when you are growing you have to lead your 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 family as a children therefore there are some kind of leadership behind with us it is with us therefore we have to develop these qualities following the te- teachings of the buddha means we should develop these qualities gradually we can attain enlightenment through these qualities because these qualities are not different from the qualities that buddha mentioned in the suttas everything similar therefore we practice in dhamma means we are developing these qualities developing these qualities we can establish ourselves in proper uh, what is proper and we can so path for others to establish wholesomeness their self we don't want to use any words for that it will happen automatically because when you are living as an example to others then others will follow you with your comp- if you, if they have competence of you this is very important to gain competence yes you should be avoid chanda dvesha bhaya moha desire hatred fear and ignorance you should avoid these disqualified things from you yourself and then you can gain same time loving friendliness compassion sympathetic joy equanimity you can work with everybody similarly no any trouble no any matters no any discrimination nothing right you have pure and clean mind if there is no anger means if there is no ignorance means you have clean mind pure mind so having this kind of uh, qualities then you can lead the society you don't want to ask someone please follow me no you don't want to ask everybody will come to you and ask some guidance from you this kind of leadership is the leadership that appreciate by the buddha so dear friends uh, as a buddhist follower we supposed to have these kind of qualities ourselves why to have peaceful happy life and to spread this peace and happiness to the world this is the way how we can spread happiness to the world 
so having that aspiration let us practice this dhamma to establish uh, happiness peace and comfort in this society i think that would be enough for today thank you very much for your participation let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about uh, departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and methods may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the higher realms of existence to the lowers may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Bhante. Have a good night.